Hello friends, welcome to the Expeditionary Johnny channel. Today we're going to do a dry run or practice run on making the firebox stove breakfast. That's right, we're going to try our hand at making these uh, dehydrated hash browns. Um, we have to cook up a bit of fish and we're going to have to cook up some eggs. This okay, so I've grabbed some wood that was lying around. This is all left over from uh, shavings from when I made a bow drill kit. And this is just some branches that's lying around. It's really old. Um, I just batoned it. We're going to place it vertical so it gets good steady heat. On this meal, I don't want to flare up and be too hot. All right, that should be plenty, I would think. So the next plan is I need to get a fire going. There we go. All right, so I bought the uh, cook kit, which includes an anodized frying pan without a handle, but so you got to use this handle to handle it. Um, it comes with a round cutting board, and it also comes with this camping plate, which you can use as a lid, and we will be doing that, and you can also eat out of it. So, the directions for this say to take hot water and pour it all the way up to this line. We're not doing that today, because we're gonna pretend we're camping. Let's go ahead and pour out some of the hash browns into our pan. This thing serves seven. We're not going to make that much. That should be plenty for a nice side serving. So, experience tells me, let's cold soak this a little bit. Let's just add a little bit of water. And we'll let that soak up a little bit. I'm comfortable with the fire as is, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and throw our pan on here and let that um, heat up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and throw this plate on top of it <coughs> to capture some of the heat and the steam to try to reconstitute our potatoes. So just a few minutes have gone by and this has already softened up quite a bit. All right, so. What I think the smart move to do it now is to take a bit of our oil. Let's put that on there so we can get a nice crispy coating. Now, if you uh, did the breakfast thing, you can use bacon fat. There we go. Let's toss that a little bit to make sure the oil's all around so we can get a nice, uh, a, a nice degree of crispiness on this. I'm going to guess we still want a little bit more water and I still want to have this lid on here so let's let that cook for a little bit while that's going on let's go ahead and get ready let's get our uh, our fish going here <laughs> okay the Sun is beating down on my camera so I'm having a little recording problems uh, but so I've changed things up a little bit so these potatoes are coming back nicely. They're softened up. I've added a bit of oil in there. Oh man, all my fuel is gone. No wonder. This wood was pretty far gone, so it burned up pretty fast. So um, I guess it helps to have harder wood. But you can see that's not hurting our potatoes. They're cooking up just fine. They've softened up nicely. So to add that extra oomph, let's go ahead and crisp them up by adding a bit of oil. And let's add some salt and pepper. So now what we need to do is let's get that salt and pepper on the bottom. We're going to get this thing cooking up. Let's get this hot again. We'll crisp this up and then we'll cook the fish. Okay, so you can see that the potatoes are starting to get, uh, get that brown crispiness going on there. So to try to time this well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the potatoes to the outer edge, add a bit more oil. Let's go ahead and cook up our fish. There we go. Oh, fire's getting low. Not a problem. We just put a little bit more inside there. There we go. Okay, fish doesn't take all that long to cook. Um, 
I suspect this is pretty hot. So let's see what we get here. Yeah, it's looking good. I think we're about there on our fish. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, that's cooked all the way through. Oops. All right. Hazard of the job is having a ashes. All right. So I think my potatoes are looking pretty good. They're acting like normal potatoes. See, we got the crispies underneath the bottom. We'll add a little bit of water later and boil that off to clean that up. We use a, a blue scrubby. All right, so that looks pretty good. So let's do our eggs. Okay, let's add a little bit of oil. You can see I'm going through a fair amount of oil. All right, and let's go ahead and cook it up. Okay, so one of these eggs turned out prettier than the other. Let's go ahead and scrape this one off onto our hash. This one is not quite so pretty, but it'll do. I'm gonna just let that finish up a little bit right there, there we go. Okay, so I like this hard anodized pan. It's non-stick um, with a little bit of oil. I mean, obviously, you still want to cook with oil. Uh, but you can see it's all my uh, hash browns have come up. Let's put that on the plate. So there we have it. Let's go ahead and do a taste test. Okay, so here we have it. We've got the firebox stove breakfast going on here. Hey, uh, I've, I had some issues with the camera and filming. The sun is just killing the battery or uh, just killing the phone so it didn't want to record so I had to keep starting and stopping all right so normally when I go out I backpack I take a little bag full of spices and it does include Tabasco sauce um, since we're out here at the house I'm just gonna go ahead with my normal hot sauce here in the kitchen we're gonna put a little bit of that on top of our hash here let's give it a little taste test Well, obviously an egg is egg. These hash browns came back perfectly. I wouldn't have known that they were dehydrated. They cooked up really well. Salmon is obviously salmon. Cooked up well. I can see why the firebox stove dude loves this for, uh, for his breakfast. Mm. Go out, catch a little fish in the morning cook it up this is really quite excellent so it works just control your fire and uh, get out live life and have a good time all right thanks for uh, tuning in take care